A Pa 11 lying on the moon was probably the most inspiring thing in history. For decades, we've marveled at the incredible achievements of space exploration, from NASA's Parker probe capturing the sun's outer halo to New Horizons' breathtaking images of Pluto. Amidst these triumphs, one historic mission is unparalleled, Apollo 11. Join U.S. on Musk finally admits what we all suspected about the moon. With the Apollo 11 mission, three names ring through, Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins. Against all odds, these astronauts achieved the impossible by landing on the moon. Recently, in an explosive revelation, Elon Musk confirmed unsettling truths about the astronauts' mysterious encounter on the far side of the moon. What did the astronauts see in the silent void of space, and why did NASA bury this terrifying discovery? On February 22, 2024, a rectangular prism sent from Earth touched down on the moon's rough surface. This was quite a significant achievement in space exploration, as it was the first time that a spacecraft owned by a private company landed on the moon. For as long as mankind could look up to the sky and see the wonders of celestial bodies, the moon has always been an intriguing enigma. Many attempts have been made to explore our cosmic neighbor and learn more about its history and evolution. To achieve this, numerous lunar missions have been tried, with many recorded failures. As a result, when the moon landing was finally achieved, many remained skeptical with conspiracy theorists believing the moon landing was fake. Right now, many fans of space exploration are interested in the controversies over the Apollo moon landing. However, it is perplexing to suggest that it would have been easier to fake the landing than to launch a manned mission to the moon. While these conspiracy theories have been around for decades, they are not backed by a lot of concrete proof. But before we look into these theories, there is an even more significant matter at hand. Recently, Dr. Ken Johnston, a civilian astronaut consultant pilot with NASA during the Apollo landings, has had a lot to say about the Apollo mission and the details about the mission that NASA has hidden. His revelations have caused Elon Musk, a genius technician, successful businessman, and avid lover of space, to identify a number of interesting nuances regarding the mission of Apollo. While Elon Musk explicitly stated that the mission itself was not faked, he raised several pertinent questions relative to events that happened on the moon and which many have suspected for decades. But first, let's provide some important context for better understanding. The moon has always stirred up curiosity in people due to its stunning appearance and mysterious allure. From as far back as prehistoric times, even before man could reach for the stars with his technology, the night sky captivated him. With much determination, mankind studied the ways in which the moon regulated the tidal flow of water and made a calendar system using the lunar cycle. Many theories were even developed to explain how the moon influenced our health and the general well-being of the people. With the advancement of space technology, we sent unmanned spacecraft such as the Luna series designed by the Soviet Union and the Ranger and Surveyor series by the United States of America to orbit the moon. These missions were able to gather important information concerning environmental and geological conditions on the moon. Every time we explored the cosmos, something new was discovered, and people felt the urge to send humans to investigate the moon. This goal was especially pushed on by the space race between the United States and the USSR during the Cold War, during which it became a corporate and national quest for ego and technological supremacy. In 1961, the United States began the ambitious Apollo program with the objective of sending astronauts to the moon and safely returning them to Earth before the end of the 1960s. It was a rather large project that took a significant amount of money and time, going through several phases of development and testing. The Apollo program simulations included suborbital and orbital flights, rendezvous and docking, lunar orbits and landings, as well as EVA extravehicular activity status. 
they could therefore not afford to be complacent in their preparations, and they did not compromise on that. Finally, on July 16, 1969, everyone all over the world looked anxiously at the sky as the Apollo mission was launched. On July 20, many looked at their TV screens in fascination as the lunar module Eagle landed on the moon. The three courageous astronauts, Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin and Michael Collins, eventually succeeded in entering lunar orbit to investigate the moon. Armstrong and Aldrin said their goodbyes to Collins, who stayed behind to control the command module, and they took a giant step for mankind. At precisely 2.56 a.m., GMT Neil Armstrong fulfilled the dream of humanity and stepped on the moon. Buzz Aldrin was right behind him, and both men spent two hours gathering samples and taking measurements and tests. Following their extraordinary endeavors, the astronauts planted the American flag on the moon, marking the success of their mission. With their task accomplished, they rejoined Michael Collins in the command module and commenced their return journey to Earth. On July 24, 1969, the trio splashed down in the Pacific Ocean, completing their historic mission. Their return was met with widespread jubilation as they symbolized the boldness and resolve of humanity to explore uncharted territory. These brave astronauts achieved what at once seemed impossible, realizing long-held dreams and setting the stage for future space exploration. From a scientific perspective, the Apollo missions yielded invaluable lunar samples. The astronauts collected approximately 382 kilograms, 842 lb, of moon rocks and soil, providing critical insights into the moon's geology, composition, and history. These samples supported the theory that the moon was formed from a massive collision between a Mars-sized object and Earth billions of years ago. Through the study of these moon rocks, scientists discovered that the moon's surface is largely composed of basalt, a volcanic rock. The samples also revealed the presence of anorthosite, a light-colored rock rich in aluminum and calcium, indicative of differentiation processes in the moon's early history. By dating the moon rocks, scientists determined their age to be about 4.5 billion years, offering essential information about the moon's formation in the early solar system. The Apollo missions also conducted numerous experiments and observations on the moon's surface. Astronauts installed seismometers to monitor moonquakes and gathered data on lunar seismic activity. This helped enhance our understanding of the moon's internal structure and mass distribution. Also, the Apollo missions left several retroreflectors on the lunar surface, which are still able to bounce laser beams back to Earth for calculating the distance between the Earth and the moon. It enabled scientists to know the position, angles, and degrees of the moon as well as its movement around the Earth and the Sun. One more success arising from the Apollo missions was placing scientific equipment and measuring devices on the lunar surface. For instance, during Apollo 14, the astronauts left behind experimental equipment called the Apollo Lunar Surface Experiments Package ALSEP, containing gauges for detecting solar wind, moonquakes and heat. The equipment remained active for a comparatively long time, providing significant information about the lunar environment. It ultimately helped to expand our knowledge of the Moon's geophysics. The missions also contributed significantly to what was known about the Moon's volcanic past. Lunar features seen by the astronauts included lava tubes, rills and volcanic cones on the lunar surface. They also found volcanic glass beads called orange soil, which shows that explosive volcanoes were once active on the surface of the moon. It should also be noted that the influence of the Apollo program was not limited to achieving scientific goals. It showed how human will, technological advancement, and bilateral cooperation could be effective. These missions awakened the creativity of scientists, engineers, and explorers, and paved the way for future space missions. Despite these revelations, many aspects of the Apollo 11 mission remained unknown to the public as the program unfolded.
To answer why Michael Collins deemed it appropriate to come forward later in his life to reveal some truths, it is essential to take a closer look at the history of the Moon and the famous Apollo mission. What actually is the lunar body, and what caused it to be formed? Due to the lack of a clear understanding of how the Moon formed, scientists came up with different theories to explain how it came into existence. One proposed hypothesis, the capture theory, posits that the Moon was initially a wandering body in space. It was later ensnared by Earth's gravitational pull. However, the improbability of such an event occurring presents a significant challenge to this theory. Another theory, the accretion theory, suggests that both the Moon and Earth originated from the same dust clouds in the early solar system. Typically, celestial bodies formed this way share similar characteristics. However, the Moon diverges from this pattern, lacking features like an iron core and an axis of rotation identical to Earth's. On the other hand, the fission hypothesis, which was once popular, proposed that the early Earth spun at such a high velocity that a portion of its surface was flung into space, eventually forming the Moon. Despite its initial appeal, this theory fails to fully account for the Moon's distinct properties. The fission hypothesis was ultimately disproved when scientists discovered that Moon rocks are significantly older than Earth's oceanic crust, making it unlikely that the Moon originated from the Pacific Ocean's depths. Currently, the giant impact theory is the most widely accepted explanation. This theory suggests that approximately 4.5 billion years ago, a massive object roughly the size of Mars collided with the early Earth. The resulting debris from this colossal impact eventually merged to form both Earth and the Moon. Although the conditions required for this scenario are incredibly rare, it remains the most plausible explanation. But that's not all. Recently, a new hypothesis has emerged that integrates elements from various theories. This theory proposes that a large object struck Earth, causing it to vaporize. The resulting vaporized material, called a synestia, rapidly rotated and expanded into space. Within this vast cloud of gas and debris, a small mass began to form through a process called accretion. Eventually, this mass solidified, giving birth to the Moon as we know it. These theories, though complex and sometimes contradictory, highlight the challenges and mysteries surrounding the Moon's formation. They reflect the scientific community's ongoing efforts to uncover the truth about our celestial neighbor. With the development of these theories, one particular intriguing fact that has sparked debates is the existence of an artificial moon. Now, an artificial moon refers to a satellite that has been created or placed in orbit by a civilization, serving as a replacement or companion to the natural moon. Such an idea is typically considered in the context of advanced extraterrestrial civilizations or futuristic human societies. One of the notable implications of the artificial moon hypothesis is the possibility of extraterrestrial intelligence. Proponents of this theory suggest that if the moon displays characteristics consistent with artificiality, it could signify the presence of an intelligent alien civilization that constructed it. This idea is connected to broader concepts in the search for extraterrestrial life and the potential for communication or contact with other intelligent beings. However, as captivating as it may be, there is currently no empirical evidence to substantiate the hypothesis of an artificial moon. While the idea sparks curiosity and debate, it is essential to recognize that it remains firmly within the realm of speculation and theoretical conjecture. In other words, no scientific data or observations definitively support the notion that the moon is an artificial construct. The scientific community remains committed to examining and validating theories based on rigorous evidence. At present, the prevailing consensus is that the Moon is a natural celestial body formed through processes.